Bonjour classe, bienvenue dans la classe de français 2. Aujourd'hui, on va parler du week-end. Super bien, on y va? Le week-end. Today, I'm going to start off our video by just reading you a little story. It talks about what this person is doing on their weekend. If you follow along in your textbook, you'll be able to find all of the words that are in bold and use those words in bold to understand what the story is about. Some of the words you might already know. I feel like we already know this expression, faire des achats, to go shopping, right? And I think you probably already know en ville, in town. But there are going to be other words that are brand new to you, so follow along in your textbook in lesson five and find the words that I use in this story to see how much of it you can understand. Okay, commençons. Le week-end. Je vais en ville. Je vais aller dans les magasins. Mes amis et moi, nous allons faire des achats. Christy va chercher un nouveau portable. Après, nous allons au ciné pour voir un film. Après le film, on va au café. Nous allons retrouver les copains et peut-être rencontrer des amis. Je vais au stade. Je vais assister à un match de foot. Peut-être le week-end prochain, je vais assister à un concert de rock. Stromé est mon chanteur préféré. Mes amis et moi, nous allons à la plage pour nager. Je vais prendre un bain de soleil. Je vais bronzer. J'adore le soleil. How much of that story did you understand? You can go back and watch it again. Take your time. Pause. Find the words that you know. But these are all the words that we're going to be learning this week, and there will be more, that help you to talk about things you're going to do on the weekend. Here are a few important verbs. Quelque verbe important. Sortir. Travailler. Rester. Do you know any of these already? I think you already know travailler, which means to work. And maybe you already know rester because we've learned this one. It's a false cognate. It does not mean to rest. It means to stay, to stay at home, to stay with someone, to stay in one place. Rester. Sortir means to go out. When you go out with friends, sortir. Prendre, monter, descendre. If you were going out, out around town, you might take a taxi or an Uber. You might take a train. Prendre is to take. Monter is to get on the train, like to mount up. Monter. And descendre looks like what it means. To descend, to go down, or to get down to get off of the train. Finally, we have passer, partir, rentrer. Passer means to spend time. Passer le weekend avec quelqu'un. Passer le weekend chez grand-parent. Partir means to leave. Je vais partir à 9 heures. And rentrer is to return. It kind of looks like return, doesn't it? Rentrer. These verbs will also help you talk about what you're doing on the weekend. Are you staying at home? Are you working? Or are you going out with friends? How are you going to get there? Where will you spend time? And what time will you return? Super bien, class. Here's another little story that uses some of those verbs. Faites attention. Si je reste à la maison, je vais aider mes parents. Je vais laver la voiture, nettoyer le garage, ranger ma chambre et ranger mes affaires. 
chez trop de travail. The person in this story is working this weekend. Can you tell what they're doing? Use your textbook to find these words in bold. This person gets to spend their weekend in Paris. Let's see what they're up to. Je vais prendre le métro. Je vais monter à Cité et descendre à Trocadéro. Je vais acheter un billet de métro. Class, this week we are going to be talking about the Paris metro system a little bit. Here's a map of all the different subway lines that exist in the city of Paris to help you get from one place to another. So back on that previous page, these words, uh, Cité, Trocadéro, those are the names of metro stations that you might take. You get on at Cité, and then you ride the train for a while, and then you get off at Trocadero. This person's going to spend their weekend in the country. Let's see what they're up to. Je vais passer le weekend à la ferme. Je vais faire une promenade à vélo. Et après, je vais faire un pique-nique près du lac. Je vais voir beaucoup d'animaux. What's one thing they're going to see? Beaucoup d'animaux. Animaux, can you guess what it is? We're talking about animals. So another list of vocabulary for us to learn this week are different animals on the farm and in the country. Écoutez et répétez après moi. Un cochon. Un cochon. Un poisson. Un cheval, un écureuil, un canard, un oiseau, un poulet, un lapin, et une vache. There you have it, class. All different things you can do on the weekend. Places to go, things to see, and we'll be doing more practice in class as well. But this gives you the basics so you can start your weekend off right. Merci beaucoup. À la prochaine.